Here it is guys. I have been waiting so long to see this color. And you know, this is the color right here. I see why GM made people wait for this color. It is absolutely fire. And let's face it, the AT4 is already the best looking HD for 2024 and Thunderstorm Gray solidifies it. Special shout out to Jerry Siner, Buick GMC here in South Jordan, Utah. If you are in the market, be sure to let me know you saw the video. And let's go ahead and check out the window sticker and I'm gonna show you guys around this truck. I'm gonna spend most of my time on the outside though. I just wanna let you know now. Now here are all the specs at the top here and base price is there and total price is right here. Be sure to pause it for all the options right there too. Now I haven't done this in a while, but I gotta show you guys the animations really quickly. Yeah, thunderstorm gray guys. I knew I loved this color when I first saw it and it looks even better in person. And as I said earlier, AT4 with the blackout on the front with that grill and you have like that Vader chrome color here too. This one does have the forward facing camera, GMC's red, tow hooks and then that four and AT4 right there is red. It just looks so good. And even down below here, this is all finished in black too. Just has a really nice appearance. Full LED, everything on the front. It says HD right there. Yeah, this is a truck guys. This is it. Functional hood scoop. And then off to the side, they did redo the wheels for 2024, which was a great idea. The ones that they replaced were great. These are just even better. Like if I was ordering a Denali Ultimate, I'd probably would get these wheels. They're wrapped in the Goodyear Wrangler tires. These are the Trail Runner ATs. And then here's the tire size. LT 275, 65, 20. 3,750 pounds of capacity at 80 PSI. And here's the kilograms. And these are basically 34 inch tires. Independent front suspension. Now, normally when you see the AT4s, they have the power deployable running boards because this is basically a high trim level when you spec it out this way. But this one does have the high clearance steps and they look even better. You're gonna have the cameras on the mirrors and then you have the black trim around the mirrors too. And I'm gonna just step back a little bit. The truck is kind of in the shade. Wow. All it needs is to be leveled. And you can do that right now if you want to. If you do have the steps on the side of the bed, this is the largest bed for standard beds. 36 gallon fuel tank, seven gallon there. And because it's a 3500, you have the five leafs in the main pack and the two overloads right there. Rancho shocks. And something that's really cool about the AT4 is the taillights. So the Denali Ultimate and the regular Denali do not have these taillights. They're only for the AT4. So you have this blackout right here and then on the back. They didn't have to do that, but they did. Parking sensors out back, class five receiving hitch because it has a diesel, it has a 342 rear end. You have two camera inputs there, seven pin. They do not use LED lights though for the license plate. It's a big deal for me though. It might be small for some people, but a big deal for me. Multi-pro tailgate. This truck does not have fifth wheel prep package. Bed lights are in here. And you do have two camera views, one for the bed, one for the rear view mirror, which I'll show you in a second. 400 watts of power in the bed too. It says 84 and nothing built in back here, but you can get lights and a kicker sound system. And then here's that color down the side. Now this paint does not have any flake from what I can see. So why they charge 495 for it, I don't know. I don't see any flake in this color, but it might be, there might be some in there. I don't know. I can't see it though. Smart key system. Yeah, in the sun, you can really see like that almost matte color, but it is a high gloss paint. 
But even with the fender flares, the whole night, it just looks so good. And this truck does have the Duramax, 470 horsepower, 975 pound-feet of torque, 10-speed transmission, also Denzel fuel pump and injectors. And yeah, this is probably one of the best options on the market today. You guys ready to look at the interior or you want to keep looking at the exterior? Because I, I don't even want to go inside yet. I've already shown you guys so much of the uh, interiors. I just want to stay out here. Like this color is, I'm sold. When can I get my at 4 x Now, if you stay till the end, I will try to find a sterling silver. That way you guys can see the thunderstorm gray side by side. All right. But as far as the interior goes, you do have that Kalahari color here. Pretty much all throughout, accented. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a high trim level, especially with the package on this truck. I do like the overall design. They did a great job. I think they made this truck too nice. 10-way driver's seat, telescoping steering wheel. You have your full drive system and your drive modes with tow haul. All your lighting controls, or most of your lighting controls right there. Heads-up display. 12.3 inch screen, electronic parking brake. And stepping in is pretty easy with these high clearance steps. And then you have these large screens. Now I don't really show the heads up that much. I do like Forge better than GM's right now. I think they have a better layout. They give you the different drive modes that change the overall styling in it. And I mean, don't get me wrong, GM's isn't terrible, but I think that Ford just gives a little bit more of what you would want to see in there. So yeah, that's just basically showing you in two-wheel drive. And if you're going off-road, that's like the off-road page. But this is fully customizable. It shows you your drive modes too. So you have your off-road, and then you have normal. This screen is pretty customizable. It is split screen too. And you can do full screen as well. If you go back to home, if you like, you can move things around. You can move stuff out of this menu on the side or you can put stuff back in there if you like. Here's all your camera views. You do have 360 camera as well. And you can turn that off if you want full screen. There's so many different camera views. I can take a lot of time in there if I like. But if you do have a trailer you tow, you can set it up through here. And what's nice is you can basically see your tire pressure monitoring system for your trailer on this menu if you have those sensors added in there. Dual climate control, ventilated seats, heated seats, push button starts right there. Here are all your controls like your exhaust brake, lane keep assist, parking sensors, you can drop the tailgate, caution lights, and traction control and downhill assist. And two USBs there, trailer brakes on this side, and then check out the center console. It is stitched with that perforated leather that says AT4. Two more USBs, power plug, and your wireless chargers right there. I still like Ram center console the best, but this is okay. I mean, this not the best at all. And that camera view above the bed was this camera view here. And here's all your controls at the top for your sunroof. You have LED lights, home link. And they do give you the black roof for the AT4. On the passenger side, you can really see that dash, soft touch, you have more of that Kalahari color. Love the storage that they give you. They do finish this in Velcro, which helps to keep things from rattling around on hard plastic. And you can use this truck for a um, camper for the bed, 3,032 pounds. And love the kick plates here, 10-way passenger seat with lumbar. But yeah, great designs, great style on this truck. And then out back, here's a little special surprise. I don't ever show this because I don't really see trucks option with this, but you do have the storage here. Now, I personally would never get this, but hey, it is nice because it does give you a little bit of like um, height. You do have your floor mats, Outboard heated seats with two USBs with air vents, cup holders there. And this one does have storage. Then on this side, you probably could put a gun back here too. 
But this does seem kind of cheap. Seat back pockets, by the way. And then here's just a better look at those seats. And let's take a look at the numbers. Gross axle rating is going to be 5,600 pounds. The rear is 7,250. 12,100 pound gross fuel weight rating. And here are the numbers. 3,782 pounds for payload. That's about what my AT4 was. And 20,000 pound conventional towing. 21.6 for gooseneck fifth wheel. And really quickly, these wheels are 20 by 8.5 too. Now let's go find a sterling silver or gray, whatever that color is called, and put it up against this truck. So here's a quick look at thunderstorm gray and sterling metallic. There's a huge difference in the colors. I will say this is a pretty color as well. This is more of like that grown up color. This is more of that like, you know, I want to be a kid again color. But it definitely does look good on the AT4. And I have seen and shown you guys Sterling Metallic for the AT4. But yeah, this color has a lot more flake in the paint. See it better right there probably. But this is more of like a hard color. And there's no metallic or anything like that in this color. Although it does cost $4.95. For this color, it costs the same thing. So yeah, depends on what you're looking for. Down the side, you can see how bright it is. And then on this side, it is a lot darker. And the same thing goes for that sterling metallic paint. But I hope you guys liked the video. Special shout out again to Jerry Signer, Buick GMC. If you're on the market, be sure to let these guys know you saw the video. And I know that they do have orders every week. So be sure to call in and see if you can order a truck from them. See you guys soon.